What's up everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, the other day, um, actually earlier today I guess I should say, I was uh, looking around on YouTube and I came across another fellow Mopar enthusiast uh, YouTube channel. Uh, the channel name's um, RT Life. I'll put a link to the channel in the description for the video. Um, and he had issued a, a Max Torque challenge. Um, the other uh, members of the YouTube community. So I decided um, I wanted to take part in this challenge. It'd be the first time I've, I've done something like this uh, from the perspective of uh, doing a video and, and posting it online related to a you know a specific challenge. Um, so unfortunately I've already done the video in the car uh, doing uh, I did two different uh, runs to get uh, torque numbers um, the camera that I'm using uh, to film both this and, and the in-car segments uh, unfortunately is a little heavy and it was mounted to a suction cup on a uh, that was hanging on the sunroof um, so there's a lot of vibration in the video so I do apologize ahead of time that um, viewing the uh, the actual video of the performance pages is, is very difficult um, I was able to uh, stop the video in a couple of spots and get what I think are the maximum numbers and uh, so I'm going to put screenshots of that um, at the very end of the video. This car has also been on um, uh, a dyno uh, so I know what the maximum numbers are from you know that perspective. Um, the reason uh, I wanted to do the challenge specifically is, you know, it's more of a real world type of thing versus, you know, a, a fixed environment that, you know, the dyno presents. Um, so at the end of the video, I will put screenshots of the two runs that I did as part of the challenge, as well as a screenshot of the, uh, the dyno numbers themselves. Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and start, uh, you know, the actual video itself. Again, I apologize for the uh, the bouncy nature of the video, and unfortunately, you can't really see the gauges that well. So this has been, you know, a learning experience on my part, uh, you know, to to have a better setup for the camera next time. Uh, but anyway, here's the video. So to get ready for the challenge, I figured it'd be a good idea to check the air pressure in all the tires. Um, I know with the uh, cold temperatures we've been having here lately. Uh, you can see the temperature inside the garage right now is a little under 50 degrees. Unfortunately, the heater stopped running in the garage, so that's why the temperature's so low. But the garage is almost 50. You know, it's cold outside. Um, I know the tires have been running a little low on pressure when I've been driving, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure that they're, they're up to spec so that I can, uh, you know, take part in this challenge. Oh, and sorry for the uh, heater noise in the background. Like I said, the heater stopped running, so I had to get it started. Normally, when I would be doing something like this, I would uh, have some decent music on, something inspirational, like, I don't know, Disturbs Down With The Sickness, uh, you know, something from Five Finger Death Punch. But, you know, with the YouTube copyright police, um, you know, I don't want to have that uh, nonsense as well as uh, still trying to get to my thousand subscribers. So unfortunately this video is going to be in silence. With the exception of hopefully the supercharger wine will get picked up on the, uh, the internal camera mic. I um, have no idea how much that will sound but hopefully it will be pretty good. And here we go. what it got up to I know speed wise it was up to uh, about a hundred uh, I'm not sure what gear I got up to too busy watching the road um, and that wasn't even completely full throttle I know I did look over at one point and I think I saw maybe 500 foot-pounds of torque 
um, so I won't know what the total was until I watch the actual video um, but yeah I you know the Hellcat definitely makes a, a ton of torque um, so this has been a, a fun little challenge I've always wanted to actually uh, video the performance pages running um, again, that wasn't even full throttle, so, um, you know, at full throttle, I don't even know what it would make. Uh, hopefully, maybe in the summertime, when I'm back on my summer tires, or even possibly my drag radial setup, I'll, uh, I'll do this again, and, um, we'll see what happens with that. Um, I actually plan on, hopefully, using the camera setup when I take the car to the track, so, you know, at the track, I'll be able to do a, a full... Uh, you know legitimate you know pull down the drag strip to uh, see what the car is really capable of so hopefully that'll be an interesting video at some point when I get around to doing that as well so there you have it uh, that's a Hellcat at maybe three quarters throttle uh, in 40 degree weather well maybe 50 degree weather um, and uh, you yeah, know so second pull um, I think at this point with the uh, amount of traffic that's on the road plus I got some errands to run I think that's gonna be it for me for the day for the challenge uh, but like I said uh, there you can see the Hellcat at about three-quarter throttle uh, you know what it gets up to so hopefully you've enjoyed this video and if this is your first time to my channel please subscribe uh, you know, give me a, a like if you like the video, you know, comments. I always try to respond to all my comments. So, thanks for watching.